Hello, this is Els, Elizabeth Craft Designs. How are you doing? It is a beautiful uh, Monday morning here in Colorado. Yeah, just Monday morning. It will change in a minute. So, um, what have you been up to? Have you been... Hi, Sandra. Have you been watching David on Creative Craft? Because he was good. <laughs> and right after this live... David will be back there, so you definitely should be there watching that. Honora, did you watch David on Creative Craft? He was in the, in, the, in the UK on TV. It was really fun. So he made some beautiful projects with his new collection. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Terry. Nice to see you here. Sandra from the UK. Saskia. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. Hi, Sylvia. Back from your holiday, Sylvia. Ivor Overson from Sweden. Nice to see you here. And Chantal here as well. Divna, hi. And um, he was good, wasn't he? I think so too. He did great. He did great. Uh, Ronda's here, of course. Like, comment and share for a chance to win the $50 gift certificate next week. This week it is Odette Greer. And I don't know if I say this right. O Odette Greer Shipsky. Shipsky. Odette Greer Shipsky. Congratulations, you won a $50 gift certificate. If you're watching, um, just email um, info at ecraftdesigns.com and Angel will take care of you. And um, yeah, like, comment and share for a chance for the next week's $50 gift certificate. Uh, hi, Cory, Carla. So again, David will be back on Creative Craft in an hour. So right after the live, you can uh, go uh, to uh, Creative Craft and you will see David there. And tomorrow at 8 a.m. UK time, which is 1 a.m. in the UK, Jose said, Mom, are you nuts? No, you're not. <laughs> A little bit maybe. But uh, yeah, so 1 a.m., which I'm normally asleep, I will be on Creative Craft. Hi, Angelique. Nice to see you here. Teresa, Ruth as well. So... Um, yeah, what I am going to do uh, today is I want to alter some TNs. I'm uh, going to work with paste, paints. And uh, if I need to wait, um, then I have other things that I want to stencil as well. So just a lot of stuff uh, going on. Hi, and Anja is here for the comments. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And uh, so what I am going to do, I am going to turn the camera around and then you will uh, you know we will start playing so and of course thank you for being here uh, let me turn the camera around put you in the stand i do have a little switchboard already it just needs to be connected so i hope mark can help me with that and i'm pretty sure he can okay just slide a little bit there we are i think that's good now see if i can find myself here Oh, I need to turn my iPad around, otherwise I don't see any comments. There we go. Elizabeth Craft Designs. Yeah, here I am. Found myself. Teresa. Deborah's here. Hi. Um, so uh, what you see here, let me move this up a little bit. So it's a lot of jars of paste. Well, I can just leave that here because I'm doing one at a time. And I am altering one uh, black one. And one, um, so that's a black one. And I should have done black gesso, I just realized. That's what I did with my other one. I used black gesso. You see, hi, Natalie from Poland. I did uh, do black gesso. And now I thought, why did I do white? I just had it at hand. I don't know. But uh, so this, I want to do gray. I kind of looked a little bit at David's papers, what would look nice. And I think a gray would be nice. But maybe I'll bring in a little bit of blue as well. So this is an acrylic paint. It's an acrylic uh, paint. And then uh, this one has a, you know, that was the, uh, this one was, so this is the sheet black. And this was the espresso ochre. So I did do the gesso already. And I'm going to do an ochre color on that one. So I want to have completely ochre because that color also appears a little bit in David's, uh, David's paper. And uh, hi, Kathy from Texas. And what I want to do is I'm going to um, first put the paint on and bring some texture. And I'm going to do it first. And I'm going to show two different ways. I'm going to use a uh, plastic uh, syringe, just uh, the plastic film, and just make it a little bit of texture. And then the other one I will do with the sponge. So you can kind of see both ways. And uh, then I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to um, uh, put stencils on. And so it's I definitely want to use uh, one of the big ones from, um, and I think it's going to be this one. 
I, because one of the design team members did it already. But this is such a nice stencil on here. And I just absolutely love that stencil. So I am going to use that one for sure. And then the other one I need to see. But um, yeah. So fun, fun, fun. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use this one. And this is the, uh, the Vancouver Grace. So that one I got on uh, Granville Island. And it's a Canadian company. But it's just a high quality. Uh, no, not just. It's a beautiful paint. You see, I didn't use this yet because I just got it. Uh, it's a high quality acrylic paint, which is just, uh, you know, it just lo looks nice on the wall for sure. <laughs> I just love it. So uh, I'm just going to add some paint and see how much I need. I probably need some more, but just checking. And I have a bucket of water underneath here. I never made a gray one. And I kind of w uh, looked at the Davis papers and I thought, oh, you know, that's kind of hidden in there as well. And if you saw, did you see uh, how uh, David did a lot of uh, a lot of uh, demos? Um, he had uh, Charlie, and I know I, I work with Charlie. And when the presenter, you know, when the guest is doing great, he just thinks, "Keep going, keep going." So I called David afterwards. I said, "You probably uh, threw your demos that you had prepared." He said, "No, not completely, but he was." Uh, so he did a lot. <laughs> Yeah, so David did a lot of uh, samples, and I, I have to say they were uh, really good. From Minnesota. Yeah, maybe you'll find friends here, crafty friends. That would be fun, eh? That would be fun. That's actually a pretty color. So for this color, I waited for two years, I think. And I told that when I got it, um, they actually said they just didn't make it for two years. Because they use a clay for this. as a, And I assume that it's from the Vancouver area then. Because it's called Vancouver Grey, but I don't know for sure. The company is based in Vancouver. Could be also, uh, but they use a clay. But I think it might be a local clay or something. Okay, so I have some paint on there. You see, and it's a, uh, it's a nice layer. I'm not going to clean my brush yet because I just want to see if it works. So for this one, I'm going to take the sponge, just wet it a tiny bit, a tiny bit, and see what this does. Yeah, that gives it a nice. So now you get the texture because I don't want to see. Uh, I never want to see lines on my, um, like, paintbrush lines. Some white there where the stitching is. Just going to add some paint there. There. Okay. I'm just going to take a stick to hold it down. Yeah, clay, exactly, uh, Marjolaine. I think that's what they told me, that they use a clay for that. So... And so with the sponge, I get a little bit of a thicker, um, and I might need to add a little bit of paint or do a second dab if it's not covering completely. But I don't want to see lines. I don't want to see streaks from, um, it draws some bubbles as well. Bubble, bubble, bubble. And I need a little bit of extra paint on that side, I see. But you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I will hold it up. That's your high answer. Uh, that you uh, have a nice uh, texture on it. And that will be nice when you do gold paste or uh, any color of, uh, like a... Uh, I'm back, face because you... Oh, really? Femke. Did they kick you off? Did they kick you off? You never know, eh? You never know. Okay. And depending on the sponge you use, it's probably going to be a, a higher or a less high. Um, you see, it will be a less, a, a less high texture. But I don't want it to be too high, but I want to have a nice texture on there. So that's it. Let me lift this up. You see, I'm just using the little stick to hold it down. So that's that. And I have a bucket of water here, so this is going in the bucket, and this one I'm going to put here. But you see here, you see now, instead of the lines that you see here, you see, you have that nice, kind of little bit of texture on there. You see, and here you still see the lines. You see, so you can clearly see the difference there. So this one will dry. Where am I going to put it? I just got an extra table, but I'm still full, full, full. That's that. Now it looks like, yeah, exactly, Sylvia, that's true. So there's probably cement, clay, that probably, uh, that's probably uh, what it was. 
Because now my I just cleaned my brush and it actually looks like a, like a clay dirty coral as well. That's a nice texture. And then when you uh, when you go to add um, and this one I did with the cling wrap, but you see then when you touch it very lightly with the gold uh, at the end, it just you know it picks up on the on the top from the. Um, on the top from where it is but you with the paste if, if you use that paste you really need to be careful sometimes i even dab it off a little bit from my finger and so and this one i actually did it like this just really slowly because not not slowly sorry lightly because if you if you if you brush it out too much it's sitting there so hi sherry you're never late you know it's fine eh? it's fine i'm just starting to paint uh um uh, journals here so this is the sheet black and this is the small square one and that's the one that goes with the collection with the new collection from david so this one is decorated what did i do anything else wait let me you know let me paint first then i can dry it and i can see if i did anything else that i didn't show you yet so this one i want to do in the ochre so this is yellow oxide it's called And this one had a, a yellow uh, pocket already, but um, and if you look at David's paper, so I might want to bring it, like make it a little bit more darker. But uh, if you look at David's paper, you will see that it has that um, that kind of ochre a little bit in there as well. Hi, Avia, nice to see you here as well. Did you just? Yeah, I did just sort of cover first. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did, I did. How is Edmonton doing? Do you still have smoke or is the smoke gone? I don't know how it's going with the fires at the moment. I hope it's... I like ochre always. I kind of... Oh, Kathy, Annette did a little video. Did you see? Annette did a little video. Now, I'm not sure. It will uh, come this week. Probably we're waiting uh, for the last items to arrive. But um, we will be on time for sure. So, Annette, if you didn't see Annette's video, you should look at it. Because it, it's on all our pages. Because Annette did a really, really fun uh, video, I have to say. <laughs> I thought that's... She just came up with a fun, fun presenting way. So, the rest of the information will follow this week, I think. Uh, yeah. But, uh, like, uh, the shipping and... Uh, you know, we should start shipping to stores next week for sure. That's actually, I like that yellow. Okay, press it down. And here, so what I do with the pockets, I always just go in with a little bit of paint there. It will not stick together, so that's that's fine. Yeah, Annette. Can you put a link in, Annette, to your video? For the people that missed it, Annette... Uh, Made a little promo video for the summer class and it looks amazing. So you see uh, a little bit of the product that's in there. You see a, little, a few pages and besides that, it just makes you happy because it's a fun video. She did a great job. So this I put a little bit of more paint on, I think, than the other one. But we know that it's the 22nd of July. That's what we know. That's what we know already. Okay, that's it. Let's see how it goes. I guess it... Yeah, my nose will probably have just so, for sure. So now I'm just going to take a cling wrap. Plastic wrap. And now I'm just going to... Put it on there, crinkle it a little bit. Oops. And if it's not completely uh, correct right away, you can always kind of, you know, cannot go wrong with this. I see I actually pull off a little bit of the paint here. Maybe I should have waited a little bit till it's a little bit more dry. But actually, this will be pretty as well. The, witch, the white shows through a little bit, which actually looks cool. I might just leave that. And then if I um, want to dab a little, I just kind of close it. And if I see parts that I miss, like here, I missed a bit. Then I just press it down. Kind of looks very sunny uh, this way. I don't think I will 
I can choose to do a second layer, but I think I actually like with the white coming through a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Make it a little bit even, and you don't probably don't see what I'm doing now because it's too far away, but I'm just making sure that I have a nice coverage, a little bit of the white shining through, which is fine. If it's too bright white, I dab it. Here I see still lines. Perfect. That's actually really nice as it is. <laughs> I know, Sylvia, that's true. That actually is, the corner is really nice. See, what you do with it, and you just pull that uh, strap that's on the outer, and I will I will do the inside as well, but that's for later. You don't need to see that. That's just painting. And I don't need to gesso this because the inside material is kind of a little bit rough, so I can just paint that. Oh, yeah, brush. Yeah, I don't, I don't like brush strokes, I have to say. There's something stuck there. Oops. Yeah, so that looks actually really nice as well, you see? That does make a really nice, uh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that's that. So that's done. So this can go in there again. Now I'm going to see how far my uh, gray is dried already. Uh, not completely. I'm going to blow dry it a little bit, but maybe I'll do because it's almost dry. So what I might do is just um, stencil because I want to, for, for tomorrow, for, well, it's tomorrow, 1 a.m. is tomorrow. I am um, going to use the ticket die. So let me put this away. Let it dry for a little bit. Oops. And I will finish this today because I want to show those uh, tonight as well. Um, so this one. And I know David had a, um, oh, now it's crooked again, you see. My screen, my, uh, 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 wait. Back a little bit, does that help? Or did I make it more crooked? Uh, the other way around. <laughs> a little bit like this. I need a sheet with no lines. I need a sheet with no lines. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's just me. You know, every, every every person has his weird things. And, you know, I cannot do, like, crooked lines here. No wonky screen for else. Exactly. <laughs> no wonky screen for else. No. So, uh, that's why. I've, but, uh, yeah, you know, I know already what I want. But I told that already. So, uh, this one. Uh, I know David showed something like this from one of the design team members. I don't know which one it was. But, um this one is the ticket, and I want to do some stenciling on that. And uh, then I thought, when I saw this, I thought, okay, how did they do that? Well, super easy, but I, I needed a light bulb moment for that. So basically, um, and I don't know if David told it. If he told, I missed it. But um, if you want to have this, and then this is almost a... Uh, hi, Esther. Esther is on a, on a holiday. Esther, don't, don't watch. Don't watch Esther. Esther said, oh, I didn't take anything Elizabeth Craft Designs with me on the holiday. And then uh, within a day, I had a design. <laughs> so I said, I said, you didn't take anything. Yeah, I did take my laptop. But uh, yeah, so Esther is in France. If, are you still, is it France, Esther, or is it just Belgium? So this one actually fits on an A2 size card as well. You see, I thought, well, you know, that might be a, a fun idea as well. Like this, you see. Yeah, but um, let's just show you. Okay, so how... <laughs> I know, I don't say anything. <laughs> but so uh, you run it through like this, and then you just run it through on this side. So because this is a perfect lineup, so you just tape it, you see this one, and then you have your other side. So it was actually simple. Oh, Judy as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you are in friends, nice. There's another thing that I, you know, I can't do it, but I... Um, so... Uh, and I know I'm not the only one with that, but um, labels from shirts and that kind of stuff needs to go. They all need to go. And then sometimes I see people walking around and they stick and then, then it can look really chic and nice or whatever. And then I see that label in the neck sticking out. Then I almost want to say, okay, I know you appreciate because you look really nice. Do you want me to tell you that your label is sticking out of your neck? 
So, you know, that's just, I have weird things. But, you know, I think we all have our strange thing. Oh, you, oh, was it you, Ingrid, that did it? Yeah, I know David had a sample with that. But I didn't know who it was. But, um, yeah, so it was you. Yeah, yeah, Ingrid. I, 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 I was just saying, I saw somebody doing that. And uh, because this is going to be one of those flip-floppy things. Because I never made a flip-flop myself yet. So, that's what I'm going to do. I need some reinforcement here. So I'm going to... Um, did you do, did you do gears, Ingrid? Was it you then? That took the gears and put them in there? Did you use the gears as... Um, oh, this one actually would fit nicely. I know the itch as well. The itch. Yeah, the itch. Um, Ingrid, do you use the, did you use the gears to reinforce the... Um, because if you do a lot of flip-flopping, it needs some... Um, I know, yeah, yeah. Oh, you did. Okay, okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That actually was a great idea. Um, but I just want to do some stenciling here. And maybe on this side as well. I don't know. But um, oh, for this one, I might just take the flower. That might be fun. Oh, you did the bears. Okay. Well, I need to look back then. Because I know... And I know David is going... Because I'm going to... Um, oh, you know... I am going from this, I'm going straight to Creative Craft after this one, because I want to see David again. And um, I'm going to do this one here. And then um, I will see the other samples, because you didn't have time to show all, all the samples. This can go in an angle a little bit. So, um, that one, okay. And now I don't want it here, and I don't want it here, so I'm going to take some tape and mask that off. So I don't put my, oh, it takes my uh, paint from my finger. So it cleans my hands right away. This as well. Then is this removable tape? Hmm. Otherwise I will damage the paper a little bit. Also fine. Then we do something else after that. Okay, what do I do? I do a regular one because I am going to watercolor over that. Yeah, oh yeah, they're great. They are really nice. There, so it's just sitting there. And that's because the paper is so heavy that you can, you know, it takes the paste and then you can watercolor and just fun. And so next hour from, um, from David will be with uh, Dan. So that will be a nice show as well. I said to David, they probably will offer you a job uh, right after. <laughs> he would be a great host on Creator Craft. He would be a good one for that. Okay, that should be it. <laughs> Look how cool that is on that. I might even try with this one, try to... Um, um, Color it a little bit on there. I never do that. How would that be? Like make the leaf green? I don't know. Am I making my life really difficult now? Now I'm wondering if I should do another one here. I think that will be cool. I think that will be cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then this one should go. Okay, now I'm getting in trouble because I need to clean it first. Let me take that off, because I'm always going to go underneath. Uh, David's are four. Four stencils. Four stencils. Just take it off a little bit, so because I want to have as crisp as an image on the other side. Uh, so this goes that way, then I need to do this one this way. And I taped it off on the back, so I'm good there. Or maybe I do that on the other side a little bit. 
then this goes over that one. So you see that one, you see a little bit on the side, and then if this one goes over, I put this one on this side. I love just stenciling, it's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, did you see it, Kathy? It's nice, eh? It's a great... Uh, have you tried using stencil butter on the cover? Is that the one from... Um, is that the one from, what's his name, from Ranger? Uh, Simon Hurley, is that Simon Hurley's? I do have that, I have to say. I do have that, but I think it's a little bit more... Oh, oh, no, 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 Sherry, I don't. But I, uh, she actually did a... Um, I don't have that. But people were uh, very, stores were very excited about it. From Jamie. Jamie is the owner. And I honestly forgot to ask her for it at the... I'm pretty sure she would have given me some if I would have asked, but... I forgot about it, but I, I, yeah, I did see the collars. Does she have new collars at the moment? Oh, that's fun! Okay, so this one now can go in the water. It's can be busy in there. Am I? And what I do lately, I'm not going to do that, but I do. Uh, I do plastic in there. The, the cling wrap in there. This can go in there as well, because it really makes a difference. So I cover. So I cover my jars with cling wrap first. Press it in a little bit, and then put your lid on, because it makes a difference with drying out. With this one, I have to say. So that one. Okay. So that's it. I love that. Look how pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so now this goes to dry. You see, I have a lot of projects on the go. But some is kind of preparing for my uh, midnight. It's almost a midnight show. It's almost a midnight show. Is this dry now? It is dry enough to put the, the stenciling on. Mm -hmm. And this one will have the big one. Thank you, Kathy. Now, it is a great, a great. And do I want to do? I thought, do I want to do glitter here? Glitter paste with this one. What do, should I do glitter paste? Hi, Yoka. Nice Hi, to see you. Hi, Yop. Nice to see you. Hey. So this one. You see, it's your glitter paste. Should I do glitter play, uh, glitter paste? Huh? What do I do? Do I do glitter paste on this one? Which color do I do then? Let me see. Turquoise. Turquoise. You know, I actually did pick turquoise you already. Because I did, if I'm going to do it, I pick this one because then I can bring in this paint as well a little bit. Ooh. What do you, you think, Joop? Lots, you have lots of, lots of paint. I, And lots of uh, colors of glitter. Lots of paint. Lots of Oh, I also have glitter paste. Okay. Now stick with the turquoise. Turquoise, yep, yeah. Turquoise, yes. turquoise it is. Because I can kind of um, glitter. Okay, yeah, because then I, I was wondering, because I have one of my, I thought about that when I saw one of my journals that I put here, this one that I put the kind of paint on the sides. I thought, oh, turquoise is nice with this one as well. Okay. And I did pick the turquoise that has... Wait. Let's just... That's a little bit with the green in there, which is nice. I also have a real turquoise, turquoise. No, stick with my first choice. Stick with the first choice. I know, go rainbow, Femcat. It would be, it would be a good one for this month, eh? Would be a good one for Pride Month. A rainbow, a rainbow. So then I'm going to go to the texture paste transparent gloss. Hi, David. I told people we go over, we come over to you. Also, David, can you put a link in here for uh, Create and Craft for the that people can watch it? Um, 
when they click on your link or you can just go to the website if you go to the website create a crab because if you click on it now you're leaving here so don't do that just go to the website from create a craft and then there is a link that you can watch live and you want to go there for david's uh, show but don't click on it now because then you leave me and david isn't there yet so i am going to uh because i want to do the big stencil Pink as well. Uh, I know. But that's not, in, uh, that's not in David's paper. Yeah, half an hour till Creative Crafts. Would this be enough? I do a tiny bit extra. No, I think it should be enough. <laughs> I think it should be enough. Um, then you just mix in the glitter in there. Oh, pink and grey is really nice. But I, I wanted this to match um, a little bit with David's paper as well. And this turquoise, I, I am going to work over it as well. With the, um, but again, if you, if you have that clear, the glossy clear from Ranger, you can make any color of glitter paste and you don't have 20 dried in glitter paste. Because you only have one jar of paste, you will use it on a regular basis. You just mix in some of that microfine glitter. And then you have all the colors of paste you like. You can even mix this glitter yourself as well if you want to. So, that's mixed enough. Okay, there we go. Hold it flat, else, hold it flat. I'm going to do it this way. I want to be in the middle. Oh, I need to go down, wait, I need to go down. The only tricky point will be here. I'm staying away from that, probably. I'm just going to sit straight over the... Okay, this is it. Let's see if I can do it. Because it's a little bit tricky on the sides. But even if it's not perfect, it's fine because I can easily work with things to make it. Because this is not the last layer. Eh? And I love altering TNs. I love altering planners. Did you see the one that I used? Yeah, you did see it. I used the one for the... For the... Um, Creative Scrapbooker, I use the same stencil and this one fits perfectly on the planner. Perfectly. I think I measured my paste correct. And sometimes when I have too much, I just take something else and I just, or do I have not enough? That would be a bummer. No, I'm fine. Pretty sure I'm fine. Well, it's close. It's close, but I will, I will get it done. I've never been this perfectly close, I have to say. Normally, I always have some extra. That looks good already. And this will uh, look like a perfect glitter. Oh, you see, because so uh, that um, I that's not as nice, but that's going to be fine when I'm done with this. So this is going. Yeah. And here was that circle. Am I going to try to make a little circle there? I can do that, but I need to stay under the under the elastic. Oh, I still have some left, you see? That's perfect. And if you want to clean it up, you can. But, you know, uh, what I then do, I, I take a stick, kind of remove it. Or you take a little brush. If I have a little fine brush, it needs to be a little bit firm. But if I, you see, I want to have this removed a little bit. So I just go in there with a stick. And just remove that extra there. But again, this is not my last layer. And it doesn't look glittery now, but when it's dry, and it will dry quickly. 
this needs to be a little bit less. Although here I have a big blob of glitter now. Make it a little bit round, like that. You see, and then I have it, because I want to see the lines. I want to see some gray in between. I might do some, um, yeah, I kind of know what I want to do, but a lot of times it's a, it's kind of more layers that I think, okay, now this, what, what do I like it? What, do I want to age it? I like distress it a bit more. So um, what's that clear? Yeah, that is, it actually rained. It's not Tim Holtz, this one, it's Ranger. Um, so is it, yeah, yeah it's Ranger. Uh, so this one is texture paste transparent gloss. So you need to have that one. So you need to have the gloss because it's also also transparent matte. But that will take away. You can use that, but that will take away of the shine of the glitter. So it's still, you know, should I, I should try that? I'll show you because that, so the because of the gloss, it it looks shiny. If you don't want to have it shiny, you can just do um, like the transparent matte. But it will look different. If you use opaque, it will disappear. You see, so I still have paste left. So what I could do then, I actually wanted to use this as well. Let me try. So this I'm going to put away again. So this one I wanted to do a stencil on. Okay, just use that paste. I'm just going to fold it. So that's a little pocket from David. That's kind of how I use a leftover paste. I missed a ton of comments, did I? Probably. I know, yeah, but, but, but yeah, so it pops on the gray, but I want to tone it down a little bit. So I am going to, but I don't know, yeah. Can you hold it and move it to the light so you can see? Yeah, but you don't see the glitter yet. Um, you don't see the glitter, well, you see it a little bit. But it really comes to life and it dries. You see, so you, you cannot see the glitter yet. But it will, uh, it will dry now. So and otherwise I blow dry it a little bit. Okay, so let me just use this one on there. So this will just be in the corner then, which is fine. Just a little bit. And sometimes I just rub it over paper, which is nice as well. There's not a lot of time that I throw it out. This stencil, I have one stencil left that I didn't use yet. That's the one that I used on my, um, and this goes in there. Oops. My bucket of water here is getting full with stuff. Okay. That's it. You see, so all used, all used. That goes, that goes. Okay, so you see now you have a little pocket with the glitter. And then I can put something on there. So that's nice. And let me blow dye this one already because this will, on the paper it will dry very quickly. And I will show you because then you see the. I know it's a must try. And this the color I use is really so it's called turquoise. And the turquoise has a little bit of green in there as well. Kind of a greenish bluish color. Let me dry this. That's one of my favorites. Okay, you see, it's not completely dry, maybe, but now you see some more of the glitter already, I think. You see with that one. Thank you, Els. Thank you, Karen. You see, that goes really nice with uh, paper. Oh, my hands, my nails, my goodies. Look at the glitter, not at my hands. <laughs> one of these days I'll try it. You know, it's the easiest thing to do. Oh no, uh, don't hesitate to, uh, uh, don't hesitate, just do it. Because honestly, you can't go wrong. Because uh, I did one that I, you know, the stencil didn't come out, so I scrape it off right away. And, you know, so you can, you can do whatever you want. It's always going to be fine. But this one, so you see, here, let me hold up the difference. You see the difference already, you see? So that one, you see the, the TN is not, is less dry than, you see? You see the difference already. I have the idea that the uh, cameras on my Apple. Oh, you know, I did an update. I have an idea that the focus changed. 
that normally whatever you did it was always focused and now I have the idea that it's not. Did they, did they uh, change something that I don't like? Could be, eh? Could be, you never know. Okay, so that's all. Uh, 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 this one, is it dry? I'm going to dry it a little bit because I want to try to paint on that one. This one is... Oh, I can do that already. Let me do that first. And then I'm going to try to paint this one. So this one, I want a stencil on the pockets. So I have only one stencil left. So it's going to be that one then. <laughs> oh, else. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have stuff everywhere. Oh, it's, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Let me see if I can take it off. My baby wipe is almost dry. Let me take a baby wipe to clean my hands first. That the most is off. And then, let me try if I can clean this. Because I don't want turquoise on this one. Because it looks so nice and sunny. Uh, okay, so that's gone. So this needs to be turned around. Because there's glitter paste everywhere. So what I will do, I will just fold it. And now this is dry again. Okay. Ready to go. So for this one, you know what I have? And that's actually a nice color. I do have that Simon Hurley paste. But I was wondering, and I think that's come, does it come? I oh, know it's gold. No. So this is what? Lunar paste. Is that a little bit the same as that other stuff? Um, but I thought my my idea in my head is that this is um, oh my goodness my hands that this is a little bit more fluid. So I don't know if it will do well. So what I'm so now you'll see. I'm going to try this, but you will also see if I don't like it. I will just wipe it off again. That's just what I do. And this, I'm going to put something in the pocket. It can be a piece of paper, or in this case, it's a, one of those release sheets. Can you work a bit higher? It's super close already, Andrea. It's super close already. Can you, you can see it well? Yellow for the sun, circus for the sea. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I, I'm not going to change my camera now, uh, Andrea, but I, you know, I might, I, I'll try it another time, but not right now, because then I'm messing around, I'm going to mess around uh, <laughs> even more, but it's just the, fo the focus is, I, I'm pretty sure the focus has changed a little bit, okay, that's that, so I have this stencil, and since I did this already on my other one, you see, I have that here, I'm going to do this one, and this one is a little bit more detailed. So I would think maybe this is too... No, it's not that fluid. It actually might be nice to get. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Or is it going to start? You know, this one I used already and did not put the plastic wrap on. I will do that absolutely now. Because it might be starting to... Does this... Do anybody have experience with this? If it dries in, the Luna paste. Slippery when wet. Da, 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 lay paint finishes. Clean the paste from tools and surface with wet. Well, wet. Okay. So this one, am I going to do it like this in the center of the? No, offset it a little bit. Like this. Let me. Or am I going over a bit? Da, 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 uh, this is nice. Okay, I'm going to try this. And so I am. Higher up in the frame. Oh, like this. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay, okay. No, you're actually right there. I can do that. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you for explaining, Sylvia. Okay, so let's see if this works well. Well, it's actually still, still uh, very good. It's not drying in at all. But I'm wondering, because it is a little bit more soft, if this one goes under my stencil. That's kind of what I'm wondering. But I think the colors are going well together. So the only thing that I think I would do with this one later is kind of make it a little bit more distressed. 
And of course, this is a range of products, so it should be good. I only have one product from Ranger that I think wasn't, and it wore my distress mark because I was not a fan of that one. Like my, but other than that, a little bit more. And now I need to kind of soften it out. This one, how I do it, because I see lines. So I want to have it softened out, and it does not work with this tool. Let me see what I can use for that. It gives a little bit of lines, and I don't like lines. What can I do about that? Can I rub it? No, it's not going to be good. Okay, I'm just going to do it in one direction, and then if I put something... Ooh, ooh, <laughs> that is nice. That is nice. Okay, goes in there. Go, go, go in my bucket. Sink, sink, sink. Oops. Okay. It's busy in my buckets. That actually is really nice. So what I think I will do with this one, if I'm thinking what I want to do, is... Um, well, first of all, tell you that for sure you need the stencils. And this one, I tell you, it did what I thought it did, was going to do. It did go at some points, but I'm going to correct it a little bit here, underneath there, but not a lot. And that looks, so I think if I do this with, um, with a little bit of wet, uh, wet acrylic or something, just rub it over it, that it kind of is a little bit more distressed. Then I, so this one is, by the way, so this one is the Luna Paste. But I am going to, but it actually did feel, did to did a seal the, yeah, there is a kind of a rubbery seal there. And it all also helps, of course, to kind of, uh, if you close it well, that it seals it off. You see, that there's a few points, like, but it's not a lot. So normally when this would be um, like a dark color, it would, what I had with the glitter, I had more corrections to do. But in this case, because it's the yellow, it actually is a perfectly matching color. Which I hoped, but it's uh, but that is absolutely really nice. Just a few. I met Simon in well very briefly in my Columbus, but uh, yeah, that is but the stencil. It's just it almost looks like a sun, isn't it? See, wait, let me bring it up. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? That is. Oh, let me hold it a little bit lower, maybe. You see, it actually looks nicer when I see it than it looks on the screen, I have to say. It's nicer. Uh, it doesn't look as pretty as it is on the... It's, it's nicer when I see it myself than I see it on the screen. It looks really pretty. Oh, Jean, you're busy, busy, busy. There can be, eh? I know, that fits perfectly on the pocket. And this one was the uh, Espresso Ochre. And then I think we also have still this one, which is, this one is the um, green. And this material is very easy to paint on as well. Yeah, that one is still there as well. Okay, so that's that one. That needs to dry. So what do I have? Is this starting to dry already? So this I will definitely do more on, because, uh, more on, because um, it's, um, you know, I just don't want it to be turquoise, so it will get uh, paint, probably a turquoise paint here. I might, you know, I might wash it a little bit with a turquoise paint, or if I have turquoise paste or whatever. So I need to look. I do have my paste, the, the colored one. You see, I have this one. What is this? Sage leaves. Is that a color that would make? Oh no, no. Oh, oh, oh it's coming out. That's in the mountains. Pressure, pressure. Uh, no, I don't have a color that matches. So I will probably work with acrylic paint on that one, which will be nice. But um, yeah, that's good. Okay, so that one is drying. That one is drying. 
good there and this I, what i will do i will paint a little bit on this one to show you what my idea was about that and then i'm going to not go over time because i want you to be able i, I will quit a little bit like a few minutes before 12 because then you can all hop over to create and craft dot com or whatever if you do create a craft it brings you wherever you you are located but you will go to the website and then you will click on the live and then you will see david uh a little brush little brush needs to be had like a precise oh you know the one actually with my watercolors although the brush i have in here is actually not the original one is a little bit more um like thicker but this is my Sakura brush. Now I have really dirty water here, but I think that is fine. Let me see. Let me see. I need a little bit of fresh water because that is really dirty. Well, it doesn't matter. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. So what I want to do is... Oh, colors, colors, colors. Do what? Which color? Am I going to stay on the colors of the paper? It goes nice with it. It will have a little bit of gray in there. <laughs> da, 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 da. and this is a water brush but i have to say i never put water in my water brush oh and on wednesday marga will be here and she is going to um you see if you do it precise you can actually color on the on the paste that's i don't know if it's easy but no, it's not going to be easy if I do the whole thing. Too much work, else. Too much work. But it will work, actually, because it's raised a little bit. You see? So if you can see where you go. But it's not easy. Just adding the paste was way easier. <laughs> but you can watercolor on the paste. That's what I wanted to see. And I know that, of course, but... If you wanted to, it you can be precise. This is something when you have really enough time, you do this. But doing that with all the leaves is way too much work, you see. So that's something I'm not going to do. I'm going to take it off. I'm dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it, because it's going to be one, like a wash with color. Because that's too much work. But you can do it. If the, if the stencil is simple, and I know Marga did something with the big stencil... I know, Jean. It needs to be a simple stencil. But it, it, it does exist, but not with this one. Okay, so my idea was to give it a wash, which I will do with a bigger brush. And then I'm going to stay with the color from the, from the paper more. So I can go, on this one, I actually can go with that color a little bit, which would be this one. Or I go with the paper, and then it would be this one. Or I do a combination of both. So these two. Let me see. I'm going to take a big brush, a fluffy one, a fluffy one. Oops. And then I might start with uh, which one did I use? Oh, that one. This one. And really wash it down. Um, I need to clean my. Uh, And it looks orangey now, but if I dab that, it will perfectly blend in. Because I am going to dab this one as well. I can do this with my paper towel. Or with my, uh, sorry, with my towel, but I, of course paper towel. You see how nice it blends in? Wait, let me get a piece of paper towel. Watch my tea ends, that I don't mess those up. Yep. So I... Um, and that's with the paper because the paper is um and i asked for an update tomorrow for uh, this morning for the paper but we didn't get any yet but um and then i want to come in with this one a little bit so there's no update yet other than that it's in the us kind of annoying but you know almost getting used to it almost you see and now this one kind of blended into that one Oh, that's nice. I like it even better than just trying to be precise in that leaf. And now I want to have that kind of blend in there a little bit. Oh, 
<laughs> How pretty is that? Isn't it pretty? Love it. Oh, don't brush it all away else. It's here. It's going to stay a little bit. Da, 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 da. Kind of bleed in a little bit there. Yeah, that's the, the, yeah, that is the grungy wood that I'm having here. Yeah. Thanks, Eugene. Here, I dab it already, but not on the flower. On the paste, it takes a little bit longer to dry. So a little dab there. Isn't it pretty? Love it. So I'm going to leave that to dry. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then um, this will dry nicely. So it is five minutes before. You see, this will, this will be pretty when it's dry. This will be pretty when it's dry. So that is the ticket die from David. And, um, well, the stencils you saw. And um, Elle saying this can be good. <laughs> no, that, I cannot do, if my, my workspace needs, my workspace, I cannot do the, the crooked lines on my uh, on my workspace fam. Cannot, that's it. Because then I have the idea that you're always looking at the lines on my uh, on my desk instead of what I'm doing. Because it's crooked. So uh, I'm going to edge this with my Distress Ink. And so that will be a pretty start for my Flippy Floppy. For tonight. For tonight. No, no, no. Can I, Can I? Uh, you know. I want you to know that I'm very dedicated for Elizabeth Craft Science. That I'm working at 1 a.m. tonight. 1 a.m. Oh, you got it, Michelle? You got the new release in from David? So Michelle, put the link in quickly. Because I'm leaving here. Because I am... Um, uh, people are going to watch David, uh, but of course they can buy, especially when they're in the US, buy it, uh, uh, of course, with the stores here because it's uh, much easier. But, uh, you know, I'm going to watch David on Creative Craft now. So I uh, want to thank you all for watching. I'm not going to turn my camera around because that's taking too much time. I'm just going to leave this with uh, you with this beautiful site. I know I am dedicated and I love, I love what I'm doing, Yona, so that makes it much more easy. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you uh, on Creative Craft in a few minutes. Bye-bye.